I apologize for the noisy video. Uh, we are next to Mars Hill Baptist Church. They are adding on a new building and there is a concrete truck over there uh, that is really loud. But I wanted to take the moment to introduce you to Corcus Margareta, the sand post oak. Uh, Mars Hill is one of the sand hills nestled in the DeSoto National Forest. And here is the overall nature of the tree. You can see it's a scrubby tree, one of our scrub oaks. Now if we get a little closer, we can see the bark has just a hint of that white oak flakiness, uh, but not real flaky. And that's sort of typical of post oaks in general. So you can kind of tell it's in that white oak category of bark, but it doesn't really peel off in large flakes like regular white oak or Quercus michoyali. The leaves of Quercus margareta are shaped like those of Quercus stellata. They are typically smaller and glaucus. These leaves are just now expanding, so it's kind of hard to tell, uh, but let me pluck one off just to kind of give you a closer look. And so this is a classic example of Quercus margareta. That glaucus nature is not totally evident. If we were to hold this up next to a Quercus stellata, you would see that Quercus stellata is very, very shiny, and, um, and, and you can clearly see the difference between them. But when they're young like this on the Quercus margareta, you can't quite see that glaucous nature if it's not contrasted with another shiny leaf. I want to contrast two of the common leaf shapes that we find on Quercus margareta. And the leaf on the left, you can see uh, the, the larger lobes in the middle sort of form that cross pattern that, that we see in Quercus stellata. Whereas the one on the right has more of a, a white oak pattern to that leaf. We separate those again from both of those species and that these leaves have a glaucous nature to them 